I had asked people on Facebook what dust shoe they would recommend for an 80 millimeter spindle. A couple of people pointed me to this one on Amazon and said they were happy with it, so I decided to give it a try. I was a little concerned that there wouldn't be enough clearance between the back of the spindle and the bottom plate of the Z-axis assembly. And when Amazon delivered it that evening, the first thing I did was to check to see if it would work. My fear was confirmed when I could not get it to go on without raising the spindle. And then I could see that I could not lower the spindle without it hitting the bottom plate. So one of two things had to happen. Either the bottom plate had to move back, which meant removing it and milling about 3 8 of an inch off the front of it, or the spindle would have to move forward, which meant adding a 3 8 inch spacer plate behind the spindle mount. My first thought was to mill 3 8 of an inch off the bottom plate because there was nearly half an inch from the front of the plate to the ball screw bearing housing, but after sleeping on it overnight, I decided to take the easy way out and make a spacer plate for the spindle mount. If I was to mill 3 8 of an inch off the bottom plate of the Z-axis assembly, there was a lot more work involved. I would have to remove the spindle, the spindle mount, and then remove the Z-axis assembly to be able to get to the screws that hold that plate on, which are through the back plate of that assembly. The spacer plate was an easier fix, and besides, I might not even like this dust shoe after doing all that. So I lowered the spindle down and made a line with a pencil so I could measure how thick a spacer plate I would need. After confirming that a 3 8 inch spacer plate would work, I checked my inventory of scrap metal and found this piece of 3 8 inch by 8 inch aluminum flat bar that was nearly used up, but had just enough room I needed to make this spacer. After some quick measurements and a sketch on paper, I used my VCAR Pro to create a toolpath to cut the blank using my smaller Sidewinder CNC. Now here's a tip for you. When selecting a tool to cut aluminum with the CNC router, make sure you double check the depth of cut with that tool. I thought I had selected a tool to cut ten thousandths of an inch per pass, but instead it was set to one hundred thousandths of an inch per pass. And of course, you see what happened. Remember kids, decimal places matter. After getting the depth of cut set correctly, it only took a few minutes to cut out the blank. Then I took it over to my Precision Matthews PM25 MV milling machine to clean up the edges and find the center of the blank where I could lay out the mounting holes precisely. I really love that little mill and it has been so helpful in making parts for this CNC build. The spacer plate is installed and as you can see I have a little bit of clearance between the dust shoe and the bottom plate now. Also, I was able to get my VFD wiring done so that now my Masso Gen 2 controller will control all the functions of the spindle. A big shout out to my friend Peter Pasuelo of CNC Nuts Masso Edition. He did a great video on how to make the connections from your VFD to your Masso controller and it made that job super easy. I used some six wire cables so that I could wire in reverse or counterclockwise you know, in case I get one of those rapid ATC things later. My cable runs from the VFD to the breakout board in my controller box, and then from another breakout board to the spindle connection on the Masso controller. If you like CNC content and don't want to miss any of my videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you'll get notified when I upload a new video. And if you have any questions about CNC, join me in my panel every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern for the CNC Q&A podcast. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button so that YouTube will know you enjoyed watching it. It doesn't cost a thing and it really helps out my channel. I know there's a lot of great content out there on YouTube, so if you take a few minutes to watch one of my videos, I really appreciate it. Until the next one. Thank you very much for watching.